canting the weapon. Yeah, can't. That's that's pretty good actually. Yeah, yeah. You have the ability to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Taking the stairs, stairs. behind the corner. You don't just have eyes in the back of your head. You have the eyes everywhere yeah. as you're heading up there. Close quarter battles. You have three principles essentially. You have speed, surprise, and violence of action. And if you lose one, you lose all of them. Hi, my name is Israel Wright. I was a Special Forces Green Beret, and I was deployed to Iraq in 2008. Hi, I'm Cameron Fath. I was a U.S. Army Ranger, and I deployed to Syria in 2017. So we're here today to watch Arma 3. Looks pretty good. Mark 19, sitting in the turret, ready to go. That's a smooth ride right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Broken <laughs> knees, every bump. That's an MRAP right there, mine-resistant, armor-protected. That's one of the larger vehicles that I use. All right, dismount, what we got here? A little 320 with an ACOG on an M4. Is that a bipod on the front? No, that's going to be your 320. So it's oh, a, on the okay. Yeah, it's going to be your 40 mic mic uh, grenade launcher. Oh, okay. No, I do see contacts there. Doing a little bit of map reconnaissance. All right, let's see where we're at. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of intel before you go into the area. You know, a map reconnaissance. You're going to have pictures, video if possible. ISR assets yeah. from S5. Uh, they're going to brief you with everything, so it's not going to be that big of a surprise when you get out there. Got it. Oh yeah, I see it. Thing. You're going to have other assets at your disposal. You're going to have air support assets. You're going to have medical that's on standby, yeah, a chopper yeah. that's on standby to come Entire in. Entire QRF fires. Yeah. So You're, you're not, not going out there alone. This no. isn't some lone survivor stuff and they write a book about it. It's, this is real. That's right. The idea is overwhelming force. If they have 10 guys, you have 30. If they have 50 guys, you have 150. Yeah. Unless there's a special situation that calls for it. Absolutely. All right, we're a little cramped up here. One 40 mic mic round and we're all dead, but... <laughs> Find a different bush. Yeah, find, find a thicker bush that can stop <laughs> bullets. If you find one, let me know. That's an automatic grenade launcher. You just pull down the trigger, and that's just automatic grenade. That's belt fed 40 mic mic. Yeah, belt that's fed. a lot of death right there. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's there you a, go. Squad size element. Good Duh. job. <laughs> that's a good shot. Vehicle, vehicle, upright. It's a good thing he's got the grenade launcher mounted up there because it's hard to hit anything standing still, let alone moving in a vehicle. Like no hands though, that was just the ghost. AG, the ghost the assistant reload. gunner. Yeah. <laughs> this game was super realistic until they're climbing this hill with no <laughs> effort at all. I would be huffing and puffing. Is that an AT4 on his back? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and he also has a squad automatic weapon, the 249, and a law. Oh, we got a law too, wow. That's, this dude is just has hundreds of pounds of gear on it, and he's unfazed. We must be going up against a lot of vehicles or something like yeah. that. You only would pack what you would need for that mission. I mean, exactly. you don't pack for every eventuality. You want to try to travel light. Exactly. But that's a little bit too far of an engagement for M4. You got five, 600 meters, at least in military ones. Even with the scope, I mean. Yeah, that's, that's pretty far out. You would have a specialized weapon, some sort of yeah. sniper yeah, rifle yeah. or something like that. Oh, nice. oh, just straight in the sky. Don't that know where top sight is for firing with a grenade launcher. Mm -hmm. Use a different angle depending on how far you want to go. There's a little meter on there. The 320, you got maximum engagements up to 450 meters for a point target. I mean, 40 mic mic is probably one of your best squad assets because you have five meters of just kill oh. distance every time you go and up to 35 meters of frag distance. So that weapon is definitely a must have if you're running any type of squad. Oh, patching uh -oh. them up. Uh oh. Casualty. <laughs> He's just lying there looking That's pretty. That's a lot of blood. I don't it is a lot of where, where he, he got is. shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't go on con. Okay, see, this is realistic. Yeah, Except very cramped, really hot. We had the air conditioner break in one of ours coming oh, back, no. and that was not fun. It's like a boiling tin can. The only thing you're missing is the smell of yeah. the straight, <laughs> straight <laughs> men farts. Not really a lot of security there. You're out in the plains with the, just bushes. You kind of take what you can get if you're looking for cover. Oh, and if the that? vehicle's all you got. AT4 is a single-use rocket launcher. You use it, and it's done. Wait, wait for me, wait for me. I can also shoot. Okay, so if he shoots this, he's gonna definitely. Okay, back area, area, not clear. Not clear. <laughs> yeah. 90 degrees. You're gonna look back at least and yeah. let him know. Just, you know? just stand in him. Because that's no. gonna have a big it. explosion behind him. Exactly. Nice, we got it, we got it. Oh. Look at that. Yeah, like, yeah, can we get baby. a zoom on that? Is that iPod, possible? iPod, yeah. I love yeah. the drum. Yeah, how many rounds? At least 100 in yeah. there. <laughs> that just looks like a big arm pump for me because that thing's heavy as sh. <laughs> Do you ever just flagging each you other flag left each and right? Other, yeah. in my eyes. Just making sure my sight works. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't ever want to put your muzzle in anything you're not intending to destroy. 
It like, makes shooting a lot easier. Yeah. It's literally laser tag. This is exactly how it is. And uh, you just basically, you don't have to aim down your uh, optic. You just hold the laser firing from the hip and just hold the gun tight. And... Yeah, sweep in the room. There we go. We're a little bit too stacked up. If we could spread out, that would be great. Yeah. Um, You're always going to have a procedure that everybody follows. You're going to practice this stuff, entering rooms, going down streets, stacked up together. You don't want to be bunched up like that. OK. All right, guys, let's spread out. Let's get some cross uh, coverage right, 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 going. Right, 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 let's move right, 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 right. as fast as we can accurately engage targets. That's like the biggest thing in close quarter battles. You have three principles, essentially. You have speed, surprise, and violence of action. And if you lose one, you lose all of them. Best not to walk in the middle of the street. That's usually something we try not to do. Yeah, not at all. Hug the sides. Yeah. That's what I'm saying with cross coverage, because the guy on the right can see more of the left side, and the guy on the left can see more of the right side. That's the way we aim. Tracer rounds, usually in a belt ammo, it's every fifth round. So mm -hmm. you can see, you can track visually where your bullets are hitting yeah. and where they're going. Oh, just jumped off the roof onto the other side. There we go, boys. Oh. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there we good. go. Just that's a, that's some good distance for the amount yeah. of equipment they got on there. If I tried that, oh both God. knees would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you got to do it, if you got to get out of there, go, you, you got to go. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're in Afghanistan here. Okay, iron sights. This must be the Marine Corps because they don't have anything. <laughs> Marine Corps gets nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Yeah, Marines are all, wherever wherever anybody else is at. Marines are usually about ten years behind that. Yeah. <laughs> Vietnam Tech in 2020. Oh, they're carrying everything apparently. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like he's got a radio in there. Yeah. Full Alice pack, mm -hmm. laying in the prone of the Alice pack. The you wall. just never know. Is that a gunship? A-10's uh, coming in. A-10 Thunderbolt. I love the A-10. They got a minigun, or a series of miniguns on there. 30 millimeter cannons, 30 millimeter yeah. Cannons, yeah. Those things literally rain hell. I'm so happy they exist. I'm glad that the, we have but, them. I'm glad they're on our side. Usually, uh, unless you are at some sort of fixed position, you're not going to have like a crate of something mm -hmm. where everybody can kind of pull out of it. No, you've got it on your person. Exactly. Your Here. Looking for cover position, covering yes. for concealment. It's like we got an L-shaped ambush because you got guns facing this way, you got guns facing this way. So yeah. this is not good news. So I wouldn't be just strolling through the grass here. So you want to try to get to some sort of, yeah, like yeah. a hard there we go. position, like a, in a building or next to a wall or something mm -hmm. like some court sort of, something that gives cover and concealment. Absolutely. Oh, explosives. Don't stand next to that oh, truck. Cool. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Those signs mean things. U.S. Army Rangers, fast rope all the time. Special Forces, fast rope. This is just a fast way of insertion on target. Um, if you're landing on the X, obviously, you need to get dudes on the ground super fast without exposing your ass, if you if you will. Third Ranger Battalion. So this is Somalia, right? It's Early Somalia. 90s? Yeah, this is Operation Gothic Serpent. This was 3rd Platoon, 3rd uh, Ranger Battalion. This is what the movie Black Hawk Down was based off of. It yeah. was Delta Force and 3rd Ranger Battalion coming together with 10th Mountain. This was shit show. Yeah, this went, this went really bad. This is like worst case scenario, where uh, we had one of our Black Hawks got shot down. I think we had two of them actually yeah. that got shot down. And then our guys got caught in the middle and they couldn't get them out. Mm -hmm. and so they had to walk out, they had to run out. This is what you train for, mm -hmm. you know? And I'd say they did an exemplary job under the circumstances. Canting the weapon. Yeah, can that's that's pretty good actually. It's not bad. The ability to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, screen. split in the street. That looks good so far, except for Joe in the middle. That's that's not right. So he does his own thing. Yeah, your village idiot. Everyone has one. <laughs> Joe don't know. Joe don't know. <laughs> Taking the stairs, taking the stairs, behind the corner. You don't just have eyes in the back of your head. Mm -hmm. You have the eyes everywhere yeah. as you're heading up there. When you get out of the doorway, doorways are bad. Fatal funnel. Fatal funnel. Yep. This guy just laying on the ground and nobody's just murking him. That's. Yep. I have a problem with that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yep. Nice slow shots. Wow. It's not about laying on the trigger and mm -hmm. just bursting round. Combat load is 210 rounds, so you got seven mags. Obviously, if you're in a scenario like this, carry more, more, more. I know I was personally carrying 10, 11 mags, seven on the front with the rest on the back just for your buddies, but every round counts in this, especially if you're just sending rounds. Oh, RPG, RPG, RPG! <laughs> big piece down, big piece down! So we were in Iraq and we were moving in two vehicles moving through the northern part of the city. We get RPG fire, they fire one, and it goes right underneath the first oh, vehicle. RPG, we RPG, see RPG. the vapor trail go right underneath and impact on the other side real quick. And then we get another one as guys are adjusting and turning their turret, and then it goes right over the hood of my car and impacts on the other side. So luckily, they were bad shots. Absolutely, and they by all that are bad shots, yeah. that's the thing. 
So near miss with the RPG, those things can do some real damage. Is that supposed to be the down Blackhawk? Yeah, that's gonna be your down Blackhawk, looks like it. You're gonna try to rescue the pilot. Yeah, Cause you don't leave a man behind. No, you don't. You would never just straight walk backwards like yeah. this cause you would fall on your ass, one. And two, obviously your guys are sprinting up there. So it would be more of a sprint, 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 15 meters, turn around, scan, 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 turn back around, sprint, sprint, sprint. You know, smoke. Smoke out, provides a little bit of cover. I'm sorry, concealment. <laughs> There's cover, which provides protection. Mm -hmm. and it stops bullets. It stops bullets, and then there's concealment. That hides your yourself, essentially, yeah. yeah. Just carry him, we need to carry him at this point. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got in the military is never be afraid to make a decision. Oh, no. Make a decision. You can course correct if you want to, but don't just stand there. Any decision is a good decision. If it's a bad decision, just pay for it later. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Best medicine on the battlefield is uh, fire superiority. So you gotta eliminate the threat before you can even provide medical care to the dude. It kind of sounds really shitty just because if you got a guy down there and obviously you're friends with him or you know him, it's kind of hard to watch him suffer like that. But the best thing you can do for him is kill the dude that killed him. That's right, because you might get shot trying to help mm -hmm. him out. Yeah, and then one becomes two and then two becomes three and then you don't want to go that route. I already know I'm gonna get my balls smoked off <laughs> for forgetting something about this operation. I already know they're gonna be like, you're not a ranger. <laughs> Some salty dude on Facebook's gonna be like, Fuck you. Well, that was super fun. Armor 3 seems like a solid video game. A lot of cool things, a lot of stupid things, but you get that. If you wanna see more videos like this, go to Gameology's YouTube or Facebook page. Do push ups! Get out of my face! I mean, Cool. Cool, yeah. but we, we, well, I don't say that. No one said <laughs> That's for Joe. Joe can go home and tell his parents. We yeah. say ooh. 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 Yeah. Once you grow up in the military, you don't do this. Yeah. <laughs>